God, in your hands are the living and the dead. We give you thanks for all of those who have laid down their lives. And may we never forget the awesome cost of the freedoms that we enjoy today. This day we also remember all those brave men and women who are serving or who have served this great country of ours. In Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Both star mothers and fathers, spouses and siblings, they can still hear the voices of those that they lost. It is up to us to hear the voices of these families, offer our support and express our highest gratitude. Whether the people we remember served in World War II, Korea, Vietnam, the war on terrorism, or any place in time in between, we say thank you for the freedom that you have given us. We are here because of you. God bless you all, God bless America, and God bless our fallen heroes. Roland K. Colby, Nathan L. Collins, Arnold H. Cook, Richard N. Sear, Dale A. Dallinger, George L. Daniels. Raymond E. Dodge. You know, we have uh, three people from our honor guard that are on that list. We have 102 veterans that died in the county last year. And now I'd like to uh, present uh, Jim Disco uh, from the Monument Society here. Uh, he's going to give a short presentation on the, uh, the Monument for the Unknowns that uh, they're planning on putting here. Yeah. It's even a little part that you're here, and we appreciate that. The sign for the replica of the tomb of the unknown soldier has been out here for almost a year now, and people are start saying, starting to say, where did you build it? Out in the middle of the pond? We haven't seen it at all. Well, the exact replica is stored in Madison. It was built by a group down there, and it will be brought up here in time. Money has been the problem. Uh, as you can see, we have started. We finally have the silk fence here. By June 10th, all the excavation will be done. By July, sometime in July, all the masonry work and sidewalks will be poured and we'll be ready to go. The engineers have determined that the tomb has to be fiberglass to protect it from our wonderful summers and our ferocious winters. So that is a project that at this time is going to run close to $21,000. So we're in the process of raising funds for the memorial and for the tomb to come up here and get it all done. And in time, as the money comes in, the project will be completed. Thank you.